In May last year, Google announced the next evolution of its search engine, something called SGE or Search Generative Experience. This was going to transform the way that people use Google, allowing us to have conversations with the search results, all powered by generative AI. Well, here we are more than a year later. So what happened to SGE? Well, after announcing it, Google tested lots of different formats with its users. We saw versions of SGE that recommended different products. We had the ability to have follow-up conversations and ask Google to refine its recommendations to us, all using Gen AI. And Google's leadership was very confident that this was going to be the future of search in their Q2 earnings call saying, this will just be how search works. Google kept telling us that users love SGE. And in fact, three months later in their next earning call saying, direct user feedback has been positive with strong growth in adoption. Within six months, we at Exposure Ninja had figured out how to get our clients websites ranking in these answers and even how to change the answers by changing the content on our clients pages. We shared all of this on our YouTube channel and of course with our clients where we started running some tests. But there was a problem. SGE was really easy to manipulate. You could get your website ranking in SGE fairly easily if you knew what to do. And it wasn't always accurate. It sometimes said some really weird stuff. So imagine our surprise when in May 2024, a year after originally announcing it in test mode, Google decides to launch SGE, but Google changed its name to AI Overviews. Initially, and unsurprisingly to those of us who have been playing with SGE, this launch did not go particularly well. There were some fairly well publicized cases where Google's AI overviews told people to do things like glue cheese on their pizza or eat rocks. The problem was that these AI overviews were sucking up user generated content, sometimes sarcastic user generated content, and presenting it out of context in the AI overviews answers. So what did Google do? Well, they decided to pull back the number of searches where AI overviews answers showed. During testing mode, almost 50% of searches were bringing up AI overviews. On launch, this had been cut down to around 30%. But this dropped all the way down to 10% once these viral cases of AI overviews giving weird answers started to get a bit of traction. But Google kept working on it. And in August 2024, they launched it to more countries around the world, including the UK. Now, when they launched it, Google actually changed the format of AI overviews yet again. So in its current format, website links are much less visible, particularly on mobile. So here's what an AI overview looks like on mobile today. We can see we've got all of this information. We can tap on any of these little link icons to see websites that corroborate the answer, i.e. sources, or we can scroll down to the bottom to see the websites that have contributed to this answer. Now we've had some amazing success getting clients ranking in these AI overviews. And whilst it's too early to say what sort of impact these AI overviews will have on website traffic, we have seen some early indications that the customer journey can be radically shortened by these AI overviews and then someone clicking through in a link to the client's website and then becoming a lead. Google has also worked to make these results generally safer as well. It's done this in two main areas. Firstly, it's actually decreased the number of websites that are ranking outside the top 10 results that are feeding these AI overviews. Typically, the websites ranking on page one of Google are fairly safe and reliable. That's kind of why they're there. So building an AI overviews answer out of the content on these pages makes much more sense than dragging something back from the back pages of Google and using that instead. The other thing that Google has done is reduce the amount of user generated content from sites like Reddit, which it's pulling through into its AI overviews. This cuts out some of the sarcastic and misinformation stuff. So now if you search Google for how do I keep the cheese on my pizza, you'll be delighted to know that the answer is still to add glue. But this time we have this answer attributed to Reddit so you can safely ignore it. If you want help improving the ranking and visibility of your website on AI overviews, then you can request a free website and marketing review from the team here at Exposure Ninja. All you need to do is go to exposureninja.com forward slash review and fill out the application form. Not everyone is eligible for this service, but if you are eligible, we'll record a video and send it to you showing you exactly how to do things like improve your ranking in Google search and AI overviews but we'll also take a look at your paid traffic. For example, PPC in Google search, PPC on Meta, and we'll show you ways that you can improve the performance of this as well. This service is completely free, but like I say, not everyone is eligible. So you do need to go to exposureninja.com forward slash review to request your review today. Until next time, see you soon.